okay so last class we discuss array so in array related i discuss few things so what is array so what are the element is required in array so how array will be created this many things we discussed yesterday things then also we created one array and we try to initializing data in that array and we try to printing that array so all those things we discuss in yesterday so then today i will add here some additional part related to array so yes so yesterday we created array okay we created array first we did array creation then after that we need to initializing array it means yesterday process is like this so like int sorry okay like int array i equal to new int okay new int then we can pass in here size equal to 3 so this process actually yesterday we follow it means that it is which process it is array creation okay it is we can say array creation first then after that initialization okay array creation array creation then after that initialization okay this process we can say array creation then initialization okay we can say this is array create first we need to creating array then secondly we can initializing array but guys so i want i don't want to first create array then i initialize later so i want to directly array creation and initialization okay so that is also one more way is there to creating array okay that way we can say guys so like this we need to pass we need to creating so syntax is i'm writing here so this syntax already defined in above okay this type of array creation syntax we already define above but second way okay second way array creation syntax i need to declare here so like first we need to pass in data type okay first we need to pass in data type then we need to using same array guys so we need to using array then we need to using variable name okay so after variable name we can using directly curly bracket okay under curly bracket we can passing here value okay value one comma value two as your wish so how many value you can want you can take it this is also we can call this is one type of array is there okay it will be look guys so previously what happened previously every time we need to mentioning size yes or no how many size is there then our data will be storing that many type okay so let's currently if you are storing data if you are storing data means what three data is i stored here it means here also size we can say three okay if you want to storing data as a four then size will be four so based on data count size will be decided here okay guys so this is one type of array creation okay and initialization this way we can call guys array creation and initialization okay array creation and initialization okay creation initialization means guys what at a time at a time same way we created array and we provided data okay we uh, initialize data this process we can say guys array creation and initialization okay this first process first process this is array creation only 
array first array creation then initialization okay array creation then later okay later initialization but this process at a time array creation and initialization remember two things guys okay guys so let me represent in practically then you people get more clarity okay so let me open id okay guys so let me create now one simple project related to array so array file new java project okay array up okay array up to just add you and finish here up to is ready then just right click new and then package i need to passing here my package name is com dot software engineer builder okay then finish okay then i need to right click here again just i need to creating one class like you can say let's array test okay any class name you can create okay array test in array test class we can passing here what main method also i'm passed here look guys so my class is ready so i want to work as second way okay second way it's syntax is what array creation and declaration syntax is first data type okay data type then array okay then variable name okay so let me increase a little bit size okay data type array variable okay after variable we can using here directly curly bracket then we can passing here value value 1 comma value 2 comma value 3 okay so any value you can pass here then guys so sorry it will be present in under brackets okay this is our syntax let me guys so i try to create here so data type i'm taking here int array okay int array arr okay int array arr equal to new int then sorry this way i'm not following so i'm following directly pre variable creation and initialization way then i'm passing here 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 comma 50 look at no error is there yes or no here don't have any single error so it means this way also we can create array okay then guys so how you will be printing array you also know no 
so how you will be printing array so array printing purpose guys so you can take directly before that guys i'm telling here what is the size so same thing guys so previously also we are using size length method okay arr dot length if arr dot length then look i try to run here what output will be coming look output will be coming five why five is coming look count here so one two three four five five data is there no that's why five page coming but what is the index so currently what is the index index is that's what it will be starting from zero then it will be going to up to length minus one length minus one means five minus one four index range is zero to four clear guys yes then i try to printing the data so printing purpose what i will do just i use switch out then i'm taking here what so based on index i try to printing so error just using index so you all are know so which value you want to currently printing yes i want to print okay i want to printing 30 so what index i need to pass here anybody any guessing if i want to printing 30 what index need to pass here yes please involve here then if people get clarity okay for us too okay that's good if you want to printing 30 then you should be passing here index 2 okay let me printing it will be coming or not look it will be coming exactly as expected why 30 will be coming because look there guys so 30 okay 30 value okay it means 30 number in present which index it will be present in two index look first 10 10 is present which index zero index if i represent there zero then will be retrieved our, our data is 10 if it will be 20 20 will be present which index one index then 30 30 will be present which index then it will be two index so if i represent there a error two then will be retrieved data as a two sorry as a 30 let me guys i try to printing one more data okay so I try to printing here. I try to getting 50. For that, what index we need to passing? Okay, 50. 50 means that's what? It will be present. What is the index number? It will be final. Okay, final data. It will be last data we can say. Its index number is guys length minus one. Exactly last index okay last index i want to printing so what will do so i just passing here four if i try to passing four then if i try to roll then look here guys we'll be getting output as a 50 yes or no we're getting exactly output so here what will understand here we'll understand we can create also index sorry we can create also what uh we can say we can create also data we can say we can create also array based on index okay this is also one way to creating array okay guys so two way now you clear then guys i need to represent here some object related array okay this is i'm passing here primitive okay primitive i'm passing but so you know guys one thing so integer i will discuss wrapper class later guys remember one thing integer integer wrapper is 
proper classes integer is primitive guys after this uh, array i will discuss rapport class but before that i should be use here few rapport class thing then you will get more clarity okay so somebody asking maybe some question let me Is there any advantage or disadvantage by creating array in array two way? Look guys, so there is every time you should be creating array, we need to providing manual size. Okay, but here is advantages we are not providing manual size. It will be creating automatically based on data. It will be put its size okay this is we can say there is disadvantage here is in this way is advantage okay so but both way we can creating array we can uh, we can putting data but there is advantages so if you are to creating array in that time of you should be look one thing so array index will not be negative okay array index will not be <coughs> specific uh, we can say array index there is will not be in negative but here is there is no chance to getting array negative index out of one exception but in first case we can say there will be getting negative array index out of one exception but in second case we can't get negative index negative array index out of one exception okay size is not fixed got it size is array always size is fixed okay when you look guys if you are creating array no if you are creating array this way also if you are creating array this way also it will be count as a size is fixed you can increase okay uh, but uh, after array creation after array creation if look here if i try to printing here one more thing is look if I try to printing here additional data like what? So C out. C out means like I want to printing here ARR what? ARR then five. Look here will be getting array out of bond exception. Look array index out of bond exception. Why it will be getting array index out of bond exception? Because it's also this case also size fix because once array is created how much data you created it means internally it will be counted okay internally it will be counted size is this much okay so it will be created by five data it will be counted its size is five if i try to more than five okay if i to try to getting the five data then it will be get, getting array index out of one exception but this is array creation this is array declaration there will be we represent what there will be we are not get uh, there will be a chance to getting array negative array index out of bond but here is we can't get negative array index out of bond look guys so at the time of array creation if you are to passing any index as a negative like this so like what mint just guys i commented this line because you all are you know this this one int array okay int array i equal to new int array if i passing here guys size is minus six look guys so what will be getting here so just right click row on edge look guys negative array size exception yes or no but this is we are getting in the array creation process but array creation with initialization process we can't get this type of exception because we are not mentioning explicitly array size okay internally 
it will be created size but we are not responsible to putting our own size okay so this is we can say it's advantage and disadvantage so no worry guys so let me create here let me telling here some rapport things okay so after this class also oh, sorry after uh, this area also we'll discuss rapport but just understand guys one more thing so int int is a primitive okay int is a primitive but integer guys integer integer is the object okay so like uh, we can say what car car is a primitive okay character so later after array finishing i will be discuss rapport class then you will get more clarity but before that guys remember these things so int is primitive but integer is a object because java is you know guys object oriented programming so very less use in real time primitive okay but every time you should be use object uh, related things so in in case of uh, primitive you can use integer in case of character you can use sorry in case of car you can use character so every data type guys so byte also having rapport type sort also having rapport type okay float also um, we can say int also having rapport type car also having rapport type float also having rapport type so like this also rapport type is there means every primitive having its own object type also there okay this type of calling we are calling this is rapport type so later guys i will be discuss that thing after array chapter will be finishing just understand this one okay so let me guess so i need to creating here also this rapport type also we can creating data this support type also we are initializing data let me guys so i need to creating here integer okay integer id okay integer equal to we are initializing 10 look also guys so previously every time we are using int but currently also we are using integer what is the integer and int so previous integer is a object type in type of object one minute guys so i have a call ha ha uthli pore kotha us pore kotha ki so ji Okay, so all are able to listen my voice. Okay. Hmm. Look, guys. So like this. So instead of int, okay. Instead of int, we can pass also integer. Okay. So if I'm to printing also here. it okay if you want to printing also data then it it will be printing then in data we will be printing okay look here guys so if i printing it so here is in data will be printing 10 will be printing yes or no so like this also so we can creating also rapport okay so here what will do so i just pass here so i just also create also based on rapport also we can create also data we can create also object look guys if somebody want so i don't want to uh, initializing like this i want to creating integer object so how do i will be creating object guys so rapport mean it will be object it will be creating object means integer is a one type of class is there okay integer is a one type of class based on this one we can creating object let me guys i need to create here integer how will be creating its object so like integer sorry like integer o b integer o b equal to new integer 
it somebody want also like this way okay sorry you integer so then we can passing here data like there look if i into passing here so everything will be discussed later why it will be coming like this like this so everything when i'll be discussing rapport class after array then in that time will be coming but just understand so this is primitive this is primitive okay this is object this is primitive this is object all data type okay all primitive data type have, having object type also okay if somebody want also creating object like this way also it's not problem okay so then guys so i want to giving here one example related to wrapper then i will proceed next okay like integer integer array i a r r okay equal to you can passing also new integer array new integer array also you can giving here data we can giving a size so look guys it's also a line it's uh, they are also having not issue okay in case of second case okay in case of second case also we can create also like this also array okay so i error to we can creating like we can creating array creation with initialization process in this process guys i can passing here data 10 20 30 40 so everything also allow so like this so based on index also you can take also like this and you can printing also that's not issue yes or no if you want to printing here okay if you want to printing here data so like sys out so i a r r 2 okay array dot you can do uh, printing so like 2 you can do printing 2 then it will be 30 okay instead of 30 i am passing here 100 okay 100 will be coming if you are to doing this way then if you are to try to printing like same guys look 100 will be coming yes or no yes coming so this is primitive way this is object way to creating array two things guys now you clear once way is one design pattern is when but instead of primitive i convert here object nothing else okay guys so same thing is so same thing you can create your own class okay you can create your own class then uh, you can passing here what you can passing here your object also you can passing then based on object also you can create so let me guys so very firstly i am creating one object related to array then i'll proceed to dimensional array okay so let me guys i'm creating here one more project be focus here so very quickly i'm creating our custom object related array so let i need to creating one class like employee class okay in employee class so i creating then i need to converting into array okay array formats so let me guess so i created one more project so project name i'm passing here so array okay array up three okay so i pass it project name so project is currently ready array up three then after that what we'll do so i need to guys create one class okay under this array i need to creating one class so just i right click here then new okay so package up three then i'm passing here com dot software engineer builder okay then guys finishing then i need to create here one class just right click new okay then i need to create class so my class name is i'm passing as employee okay employee class in employee class 
uh, I created my class as a employee then after that so what I'll do so I need to defining here some data okay like I need to defining here string name string name means has employee name okay then I need to defining here string sorry string name then uh, we can say string no I'm passing a double okay double okay uh, salary okay let happen this employee class having two variables string name employee salary okay one more thing is employee number I'm passing here okay employee number okay I'm passing just different data type purpose I'm passing here taking number also two data type I'm taking so like integer we can pass here number okay integer we can pass number emp number okay emp number let having two data type is sorry three data is there one employee class is there in employee class this data is containing so string this you know okay double double you know you can storing double integer you can know integer integer means so number value we can storing here is floating value okay double value we can storing so all those things you know okay guys so one more employee class is ready i need to guys create what i need to creating array for this class what we'll do okay this is one dummy class is ready okay just assume guys this one dummy class is ready for this class I want to creating array so before that guys so I need to creating here one constructor because I want to initialize it uh, in array so that's why so constructor creation you all are know I already teach that one so I'm just using predefined method here okay then I'm generating constructor generating constructor look guys constructor creation i did here constructor creation i already teach manually okay i already teach manually how to creating constructor so every time so you need to creating this dot name so given name so this dot salary given salary this dot emp number then given emp number this thing you all are know so this is a class creation variable declaration and constructor creation for initialization purpose okay guys so let's proceed now so i want to creating here what so one test class okay in that test class i need to passing here array look at same package so this is our project now so same package under i need to creating one more class so what i'll do just right click package then i need to go to here class option so i need to creating here so test employee okay i'm passing here test employee okay if i passing here test employee i need to putting here main method look main method is ready as previously so how will be array creating so first way we can follow array creation and initialization creation and initialization purpose what we'll do look previously we are taking data type as our syntax what is that data type data type data type then array okay we can say data type okay then array then variable name okay variable then new operator then again data type okay again data type then we need to passing here size okay this is the syntax to creating first way array yes or no based on this syntax we can creating array in first way then guys what we'll do in case of so look instead of data type okay instead of data type we can passing here our object name okay instead of data type we can passing here our object name so whatever things uh there and our object so instead of data type we can pass let me guess so 
our object name our object name is what so employee for employee class purpose i need to creating object so instead of that type we need to passing here employee let me guess so because i already created here employee yes or no if you are not creating employee if you try to create then there will be getting issue okay i already created employee for that instead of data type i can passing here employee okay remember these things okay employee then array symbol then variable name uh, i'm passing here emp okay anything you can pass then equal operator then you are using new okay new keyword then again you need to passing here employee okay employee then again you need to passing here array okay then again you need to mention size so size is you need to creating three look guys so now error is gone no error is there yes or no not having any single error here look why single error is not there look if i try to create customer they are having issue cust directly if i try to your customers customer array you can create like this customer array c equal to new customer okay new customer if you are creating like this okay if i are creating like this if i are passing there size equal to 3 look it's having issue what is the issue because array customer is not result type because customer is not created that's why you are getting issue it means here i represent our own data type means our object type i can represent there so that's why there will not getting issue okay guys clear so we just removing this one or commenting also this one because in future you can uh, realize okay then guys i try to initializing okay i try to initializing data how will be initializing here also same way guys so index is three okay index is sorry in size is three so index starting from what index starting from 0 to 2 okay then how will be initializing same thing as based on index we are taking variable name as our syntax we are taking variable name then we need to take index number then after that same guys so what data it will be storing in array what data it will be storing its object it object will can be stored there we can't store directly okay directly value because in employee related data employee related data means catch what employee object we can storing in that array when not storing any other thing we can store there only employee object so what we'll do so i need to creating here directly employee so like what new employee so this way object creation you all are no guys okay you employ emp okay new employee you can initializing here data so what is data employee name employee name i'm passing here what so employee name i'm passing here like abc okay so then uh, salary is there like i'm passing here 2000 it's salary okay then again i'm passing here it's employee number employee number employee number i'm passing here 101 look it will be stored then second case second emp okay second emp array then we can passing here one if i'm passing here one then we need to store here new employee new employee then we can creating like this then we can storing also same thing guys so like we need to storing here x y z okay x y z that name then we can passing here 3000 okay 3000 then we can passing here employee number is 102 okay so this is things then in third case also third case also emp array then we can passing here two then after that we are taking then new keyword then we need to passing here employee okay in employee then after that we need to 
storing here like this. So what is this? So we need to represent. Okay. MNO. Okay. MNO. Then we need to represent there. 400. Sorry. 4000. Okay. Then 103. Look guys. Remember. All thing. I think you clear. So this way. Okay. This way we can. Say this way we can initializing array. Okay. This is object type. Okay. The uh, last class and today before this things where everything we are discussing as a primitive type. Okay. Then here I create one custom type. Custom type means our own type data. Then I initializing array. This is array creation. Then these things is initialization then guys i try to printing okay i try to printing here array so printing purpose what we'll do so printing purpose i just using same thing as as usual previous things so like so i just using c sort okay c sort if i using c sort emp array you can pass zero then you can name if I do using name, look guys what output will be coming. Look, it's little bit complex. So I told yesterday. So if you practice yesterday session, then today's session is easy for you. If you not practice, then it will be difficult for you. Remember guys. Look, it will be coming A, B, C. If I printing here, EMP, array, EMP, then name. Then it will be printing A, B, C. Then if I'm to printing here data, okay. So C out. Then if I'm to printing data like EMP zero, EMP zero. Then I try to printing here what? I try to printing uh, same zero dot. We can take as a salary. So if I'm printing salary, then it will be salary will be coming. Look. coming or not guys here what happened why it will be coming so currently guys so this is our array okay this array every location is containing one one object okay one one employee array object it's containing based on location so current location purpose i'm taking employee zero employee zero means its purpose i'm taking its name based on first location first object what object will be containing so that's i'm taking let me guys i want to printing okay second location same thing guys i just copy here so currently output will be coming what so like a b c so if and to printing x y z okay x y z and three thousand what we need to change in this case, we need to changing here instead of zero. We need to changing one instead of uh, here. We need to changing one. Then I try to printing here. Then what output will be coming? Look at in first case output will be coming A B C and second case output will, will be coming X Y Z. Why this first index allocated by this object okay that's why it will be coming as a abc then salary as a 2000 in second index second index means guys what so like emp1 it's allocated by name as a xyz and salary is 3000 all are clear or any doubt guys anybody any doubt Okay, somebody ping, I think. Hmm. So, no, no need to execute extend QR. In later class also, I didn't understand why use super. So, super is guys. 
so i use there as a super class constructor purpose if i to remove also that's not issue there but instead of inheriting okay instead of inheriting is process is going on so in that time you can use super but current case also if you remove super it will be no problem for you then for us so can we print like this array no it will be like this array Array means you are taking as a variable, no? So, 0, 0. 0, 0 means what? 0, 1. Look, you are telling. So, as not exactly there, you are telling two dimensional array, two dimensional array is one way to printing and creating array. In later, will be uh, discussed. That's not issue, but it will be not exact design. Okay. It will be not exact design, then design will, design will be something different. Okay, so later we will discuss two dynamics, later, not issue. So, guys, so whatever things I discuss up to this, all are clear or any doubt? Anybody, any doubt? Please confirm you clear or not, then I will be proceed okay others all are clear why we call it in test employee that's not not issue you can take any okay you can take any test class name okay as you want you can take okay you can take any class name under class name you can design like this then it will be doing okay you can create you can take your own class name okay that's not a test class okay then you can create okay so this way you can creating data okay you can creating our what so object class then second way second way is guys same thing as what we'll do same same we need to using array creation and initialization way like this employee array okay here we can pass here pars okay employee array equal to we can pass like this brackets okay then i need to passing here data so same data i need to create a copy here one thing so like this copy so instead of value here i need to what i told value need to pass no so value here is new employee is one value then comma okay in second value i need to passing here so like i need to passing here rajesh okay then after that i need to passing here like okay 3000 okay 3000 instead of 101 i'm passing here 102 okay instead of here also we need to passing here so same thing so like but like go to So instead of three thousand and when is to pass here four thousand and then one zero one plus we need to pass in three just assume this one okay this is one array is there so here also we need to printing same way same way guys so in previous case current case also we just copy this one okay just copy this one so I need to pass here instead of this one emp error just assume okay just assume error error one minutes one minutes so i have one call one urgent call hello yeah 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 hi asak No, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Bye.
okay guys okay so let's proceed now so no no she is employee class we inherited in test employee inherited employee class inherited in test employee without using any extent keyword how is possible look guys so has a relation has if and to inheriting okay if and to i already told no so is and has a relation difference inheriting if and to not inheriting also this is this design called has a relation has a relation inheritance means guys what so all functionality you can able to access but the uh, has a relation means what so based on some data okay based on specific functionality you can get so whatever data you can call that 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 only you can be getting so not getting all functionality okay this called has a relation this is also one type of design you can remember little further than then you can practice also okay so then guys so i need to creating here also then i need to printing here so like this is i'm creating over here separating so like this out then it will get more clarity now guys i try to printing okay so just right click run as java application look below boundary this is brown below boundary whatever data is there whatever data is there so it will be printing or not rajesh a b c okay all data will be printing or not yes it will be printing this is also one type of designing okay one type of designing in what in array so employee purpose we need to designing like this also okay so this is the things so then after that i'm writing i'm telling also this example you can guys practice okay if you're not practice then you, you can't get clarity okay so i'm copying also this example control a control c and adding also in your notes okay so control c paint so P. then i need to take here also a test class employee test just copy control c okay these things also i added in your notes be practice guys this one then you people get more clarity so can I proceed for the step or can I dropping because you should be for the step it's little bit complex will be coming because it will be two dimensional array will be coming this is normal array this up to this one I created and implementing normal array things but uh, uh, in later so next thing will be coming two dimensional array three dimensional array means little bit complex it will be array inside another array so that things will be coming can i drop here or can i proceed the next thing if you understand this one then i'll be proceed okay if you confuse because whatever things i need to discuss now it so all those things if you practice then two dimensional array you'll be getting clarity otherwise you will not get clarity by using new keyword we can get few functionality yes so what we'll do will be proceed next or will be dropping here because if you are not getting clarity these things whatever things i discussed like array creation initialization object things so if you are not clarity then next thing will be can't understand it wasn't everything you understood or any doubt Little wasn't so everything you understood or any doubt? Yes, clear. 
ओके सो नेक्स्ट थिंग इज गैस टू डायमेंशनल एरे ओके नेक्स्ट थिंग इज देयर टू डायमेंशनल एरे टू डायमेंशनल एरे मीन्स गैस व्हाट सो एरे इनसाइड एन अदर एरे इज देयर ओके एरे इनसाइड एन अदर एरे इज देयर सो वन एरे इज क्रिएटेड देन एन अदर एरे इज देयर सो बिफोर दैट गैस सो आई नीड टू टेलिंग हियर वन डिफरेंस देन यू विल गेट क्लैरिटी सो व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सो समबडी विल बी आस्किंग इन इंटरव्यू what is the difference okay difference yeah. difference between length length and length method okay guys so two things you all are know length is here we are using where in array but length method we are using where the string okay so we can say here that's what so first length okay length is a final reference variable okay length is a final reference variable we can say it will be applicable in array okay it will be giving the size of array we can say this is our uh, length we can say but length method you all are know so length method is a me method it will be giving also size of string okay but it will be applicable only string but it will be applicable only method what do you understand guys so length you can say is a final variable i am writing here then you people get clarity okay length is a final okay length is a final variable applicable apply okay applicable for array okay length is a final variable applicable for sorry array spell mistake Okay, length represent the size of array. Okay, we can say it is represent. It is represent. It is represent the size of array. Okay, this is the point. So we can say one more is what length method. it is also guys one more interview question right okay so we can say length method is a final method uh, applicable for storing object okay applicable for storing object length method return of character represented in the string we can say guys same point length method okay length method is a final method okay it a final method applicable for string object applicable okay applicable for string object applicable for string object here is length is applicable for array but length method is applicable for string object so what will uh, uh, represent so okay it's represent guys what it's represent the it's returning okay we can say it's returning the number of character present in the string okay it's returning returning the number of character character present present here yes present in string okay guys so this thing also you should be remember what is somebody asking what is length and what is length so length is a final reference variable we can say final variable it will be applicable for array But length method is a 
we can say final method it's applicable for string object so it will be giving so what it will be giving it will be giving the size of array it will be giving the it's returning the number of character present in the string this simple difference okay then one more thing guys so i am telling so how we'll be creating two dimensional array okay two dimensional array means guys what two dimensional array three dimensional array two dimensional array means what so two dimensional array okay two so now two dimensional array so two dimensional array means a array containing okay another array is called two dimensional array syntax to creating two dimensional array okay syntax so syntax how to how, what is the syntax to creating two dimensional array their syntax is guys what so we are taking data type same data type sorry data type then we need to using here so two dimensional means two array we need to using like this to using they like this then we need to passing here variable okay variable m okay variable name then guys we need to using same new keyword then after that we need to using again data type okay again data type then again we need to using like this array then guys we need to passing here size here also we can passing size then here also we can passing size okay this is the way to creating two dimensional array this is the first way you can say then second way also they are having to creating two dimensional way so like one curly bracket containing another curly brackets okay so like this also way is there in second way to creating two dimensional array like it's second example second we can say in our second what second way to design the two dimensional array we can say so same guys we need to passing their data type also we need to passing after data type what we'll do we need to provide variable then after that we need to using curly bracket like guys what we'll do so here just using data type okay so data type then we need to using same array okay then we need to using variable name okay variable name then we need to using what we need to using here our uh curly bracket or then under curly bracket they're having one more curly bracket then another curly bracket okay then another curly bracket so like this is there this is way to designing two dimensional array this is first way to designing two dimensional array then this is second way designing two dimensional array okay okay guys remember this syntax okay then research about it little bit then coming next session on next session will be doing its practically okay slowly to present what you are telling so like employee array jk equal to new employee array so this much okay okay can we express like this why is there any problem arrive employee uh, why can we express like this why is there any problem arrived employee array jk equal to new employee so good do uh, no there is not allowed because look this way that array design okay i i told you what is the syntax to creating array this way you should be follow okay but you can't follow this way because array every location containing its data okay here is not containing single look if you represent employee then in that time you can represent like this but here is employee array employee array means you can storing data as a group okay you are not storing any single data 
ओके सिंगल ऑब्जेक्ट पर्पज यू शुड बी फॉलोइंग दिस वे बट इन दैट टाइम यू कैंट यूज यू कैंट यूज एर ए बिकॉज एर ए विल नॉट स्टोर सिंगल डाटा एर ए विल बी स्टोर सिंगल डाटा हुएर इफ यू डिजाइनिंग लाइक दिस देन यू कैन बी एर ए विल बी स्टोरिंग एस ए सिंगल डाटा बट इट वी नॉट स्टोरिंग सिंगल डाटा लाइक दिस बिकॉज एर ए इज ए एजूम एर ए इज ए कॉन्टेनर ओके इन दैट कॉन्टेनर ओनली एलोइंग ग्रुप ऑफ डाटा ग्रुप ऑफ डाटा इफ यू रिप्रेजेंटिंग अंडर कंटेनर एस ए सिंगल डाटा इट विल बी ऑल्सो एलाइंग बट डिजाइन पैटर्न शुड बी लाइक दिस नॉट बिलो वन ओके यू शुड फॉलो ना आई ऑलरेडी गिवन ना लिटिल प्रदान सिंटैक्स यस ऑन बेस्ड ऑन सिंटैक्स यू शुड बी क्रिएटिंग एरे ओके देन यू पीपल गेट क्लैरिटी ओके इफ यू आर नॉट फॉलोइंग सिंटैक्स सो इन दैट टाइम यू विल बी फेसिंग डिफिकल्टी ओके सो सिंटैक्स टू क्रिएट एवरी एरे क्रिएशन पर्पस आई गिवन सिंटैक्स सो फॉलो दिस सिंटैक्स इन work on that then you people get more clarity okay guys so any doubt anybody any doubt please confirm guys please confirm if you have any doubt all are clear or any doubt okay if you don't have doubt then by default you clear everything okay guys so now you can drop so see you tomorrow then we'll be discuss that uh, two dimensional array in tomorrow okay okay guys bye you can drop now